there are many different ways of joining leather together uh, from stitching to lacing. In this segment I'd like to show you how to do the running stitch and the whip stitch. We'll start with the running stitch and the first thing we need to do is determine how much lace we're going to need. Now in this case I'm going to stitch around this piece so I'll measure it and I've got uh, seven inches three and a half three and a half so that's 14 inches and to do the running stitch it takes about one and one half times the distance so we will uh, have about 21 inches and I think I'll just do 24 inches to give me a little extra the next thing to do is to attach our needle uh, to do that we take a, our lace and from the back side and a good sharp stencil knife we'll kind of thin the lace down to a point to a feather edge so to speak and uh, then we'll turn it over and uh, just cut a little point on here as you see there now I'm ready to load my needle to load the needle I uh, take my fingernail and open it and slide the lace in as you see me doing here then I'll take a pliers or a mallet and then just pinch it so that the prongs hold and our needle is now ready to start. To begin my lacing I'll first pass it through the second hole as you see here and I'm on the inside now of the two pieces of leather. I'll pull it up as you see now I'll come in the first hole and I put a little slit in the lace as you can see here. Now I'll pull this up until it's nice and snug, not, not real tight but snug. As you can see now my lacing is attached. Now I will take my needle and go through the other hole to the front or the outside so to speak and uh, making sure I get rid of any twists. Now I'm ready to continue lacing. I go to the second hole. As you can see now as I go to the second hole I'm also going in the same hole in the back. Pull this up snug. Now it's just a matter of going inside to the front, front to the back. And we will continue lacing in this manner until we reach the other side. I have reached the other end, so I'll go through the next to the last hole the same way we normally would. I'll go through the last hole and I will pull that up kind of snug and then I will take my needle and I'll go into uh, this next to last hole and I will go up through the layers of leather and now I will pull this up snug tighten it up and I can take a shears or a knife and cut my lace off and we are finished. We'll now do the whip stitch. To do the whip stitch you'll notice I'm starting from the second hole again on the inside and I'll pull my lace up until I've got uh, about an inch or so. Then I will go over the top, kind of roll over the top as you see me doing here and pull your lace up kind of snug. Now keep the end in there, go through the next hole and 
pull it up snug. Now we will just continue going over the top through every hole. And as we do, we'll secure the end of that lace. When I reach the corner, I will go through the uh, corner hole twice. Go through, as you see here, and I'll go through the same hole a second time. And then I will continue as before. Several holes here. I'll go through this last hole and I won't pull it real tight immediately because I want to come back through the first hole again. I want to come up through between the layers of leather as you see here. Now I can pull everything tight and then I can take my needle and go back through several more stitches uh, to help secure the end of the lace. And then we can just cut off the end. And we have a nice secure ending.